Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Seth, and welcome back to another video. This time around, this is, I guess you could call this, episode one of my gameplay. Um, so, I am in Arc Genesis, just about to start out. Um, of course, I'm done with most of the guides, so it's my turn to actually play the game for real. Um, so, I think what I'm going to do is, I am going to... Hope that the music starts playing properly. It's really annoying when it does that. Uh, <laughs> right. So, first things first. I need to find my base location. I already know where I'm going to go. I just need to get my bearings. And uh, so what I've done is I've spawned in with all of the tech grams because, of course, or tech and grams because, of course, uh, I have completed all the bosses, so I do want access to the tech stuff when I get to that point. But, um, because this is a mishmash character, if that makes sense, what I will do is I will set up my base here. I will then go on to Ragnarok, where I have my other character and base and stuff like that. I will then cry upon whatever's left, because I've not been there for a long time, and then move them on to this server right here so this will become my permanent new home and then that ragnarok map will then be deleted and so what i'll do with this character is then i will go onto the island i will then plan to fight all the bosses for, for real as well as the overseer and then move on to the next one which would be the extinction aberration well aberration extinction and so on and uh, just get on with all of that now this is where's going to be my base location um this will be the first part of the base uh, so what I've got planned here is this will be the main breeding facility for creatures and I suppose the main part of the base if you want to call it that and then I want the underwater part of the base that will be also a uh, I suppose water breeding facility and stuff like that but let's start let's start setting things up here and getting some stuff going okay so I want some of these things right here Definitely want the SS stuff. That's going to really help out quite a deal. Um, we want the campfire. We need some of these things right here. Definitely want the SS version of the campfire. Don't think I want any of that. I have better armor. Well, not really armor, but I have the tech suit, so that's going to help. Sleeping bag, we do need a spawn location. And we'll need some foundations to lay down some stuff. Some storage boxes, because after this, after I set down a basic base location... I will then go around for quite some time and farm some of them loot drops, loot crates, because, of course, the stuff out of that is really darn freaking good. So we'll craft a campfire right now, and I mean, I can't do much else. We do need some tools to help us with the start of our farming, if that makes sense. Other, other than that, we'll move on to better stuff. So... Uh, I'm going to set down some foundations here. Um, this is going to be thatched because why not? I don't really have a lot of space in my inventory anyways. So I can't carry heavy stuff. So we'll do something like this. This should be a good starting point right here. Uh, just good enough to set down a bag. And maybe some boxes to store stuff in. And maybe something to craft in, if that makes sense. Maybe a smithy and whatever else we'll find. Uh, this won't be a permanent location. It's not straight, so I'm trying not to let my OCD get in because I do want it to be straight. But uh, I think, uh, I think space-wise, this should do. I'm kind of happy with that. Okay, so next up, we have enough resources that I've gathered to craft a sleeping bag. I have just been bum-rushing creatures and killing them that way because I don't have anything to fight with to be at the to be honest at this moment in time. So I'm hoping to get something out of the uh, loot drops. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, no, I'm stuck. Oh, this is bad. Dear. Ah, oh, shoot. This is really bad. Okay, so <laughs> I've tried loads of things to... Uh, get myself out of that situation. The only thing that I could do was, of course, to re-log onto the server, and that seems to have worked. So, this is my new home for now. I do like it. 
Uh, I think we need to get some more resources. We want to put down some storage boxes to store some stuff. Now, I don't know what I'm going to be storing in them at this point in time. I'll probably be very greedy and store just about everything until I can become picky. But, yeah, let's go and get some boxes. Okay, I'm going to place this down here in this corner. That'll do just fine. we got some boxes right now. Might need some more of these later on. But my inventory is getting kind of full. That'll do. And this is where I like the S plus stuff. Just because they snap onto each other and it makes it really easy to actually uh, place things in a straight line. So it's really OCD friendly. Um, we got some berries. I uh, might keep those there for food. Don't really have anything else to eat. We have some more of that stuff. Okay. I think I'll hold on to the berries. We've got some fiber so I can place that down there. I've got all these things in my inventory. All these little skins that I don't really want. Um, I don't know about the meat. Okay, I'll put the stem berries there, some meho berries for backup, and some narco berries for backup for when we start making narcotics. Okay, so I'm going to spend a lot of time doing this. Basically, with the tech suit, I'm just going to fly around, go through all of these drops, get whatever I can, and I'm honestly hoping that I can get my hands on something good, some sort of weapon. I don't want to be crafting and using a spear. We did get a bit of server lag there for a second. Okay, there's nothing bad down here. Quickly, let's have a look in here and see what we have. There's a sheep. Oh, metal. Oh, tech generator. Even better. Oh, Astrodelpha saddle. Um, okay. Right, I could. I want to take that but I can't take it okay so um, right I want this to despawn so let's get rid of it oh I'm panicking right now because I'm stuck but I'm greet oh why is that running what's that what's that oh okay okay I really need to get airborne so obviously uh, because of the tech suit I can press control and kind of run forward although I am massively over encumbered right now so what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to basically run off the edge here and once i'm in the air i can double tap space and then just basically fly and so this is why the tech suit is freaking amazing definitely a life-changing item to have okay and space there we go we're airborne we can now make our way back to base fully loaded with loads of goodies so i'll just go and drop my stuff off and i'll see you folks while in a bit for you in a while for me all right we got some more loot i did craft a spear just to help me farm for me and hide and stuff like that okay i want to have a look over the edge i'm already over encumbered as you can see from previous uh loot there we go. What do we got? Ooh, tech rifle. I want that. I've already found some element in previous supply drops. So that will come in handy. It is also a very good quality. And the thylacolio, uh saddle. So that's going to be helpful. So I finally found my weapon. It's time to take stuff back to base. Because if I land now, I will be in a lot of trouble. So we don't want to touch the ground. The ground is lava. And, oh, well, there. Kind of got stuck underneath it for a brief second there. Let's go and show you what we're up to. So, I've been farming things like crazy for the better part of the day. We've sent down a preserving bin, which I did not craft because I found it in a loot drop. I found all this wonderful metal in loot drops. And, of course, all the tech things that you see here are all from loot drops. So, definitely worth farming these things. They are freaking amazing. Um, I have some stuff here. So, we've got some base items. We found an industrial forge, which is really nice. And loads of saddles. More weapons and armor and stuff. More resources. I mean, these things are really nice. I'm trying to keep things organized and things. Uh, I did also, as you can see, uh, level up. 
a bit, so I'm level 62 right now. The way I did that is I actually used one of the tech rifles that I found. Yes, one, because I found another one. That's pretty cool. Uh, and I started fighting some alpha creatures. Mind you, those alpha creatures were alpha raptors. And uh, it was a bit of a pain fighting them. Uh, but that got me quite a few levels. So now it's time to look at the engrams here because... I need to start considering setting up a proper base, but before I do that, I need this. Now, of course, if you've watched my guides, you'll know why I want it, and that's because I want me a Maywing. Um, now, I will also need some rare flowers. I should have enough hexagram, hexagons, hexagrams, hexagons, Jesus Christ, uh, to buy some rare flowers from HLNA. We have the S plus Smithy unlocked, so it's time to craft one of these. Uh, we craft a saddle, take it with this, and uh, then we find a decent level Maywing. Now, one of the problems I've seen so far with server is the maximum dino level tends to be 120. Um, not really happy with that because I want it to be 150, so I might need to tweak things around on the server just because. Uh, obviously, it's been a while since I've played Ark uh, as such on a server, so I don't remember all the settings. But I will go at some point into the settings and make sure that everything is... All, all dinos will spawn at a max level of 150 because that will work really nicely with my previous creatures that I plan to import from the other map. Uh, okay. I'm struggling to find things right now. <laughs> right, so... We've got the smithy. We're going to place this bad boy down, then make ourselves a saddle for a maywing. And uh, we've also got this right here, so that's going to come in handy. And uh, I think I'll make use of that. As you can see, I found a mortar and pestle in one of the drops. Place that bad boy down. And we'll place that there-ish. That should do just fine for now. So we've got all the stuff, all the benefits of this crafting station right here, so this is what we will be able to craft in it. And of course the smithy will allow us to craft the normal standard stuff plus the S plus stuff. So let's have a look for the Maywing saddle. What do we need? Oh, I should have plenty of materials to craft one. So I will go and find all the resources that we need. I will place them in here and I will craft a Maywing saddle and uh, I'm not going to bore you with that stuff but I think I will probably just cut in later when I actually find a decent level Maywing. Hopefully I don't forget to take anything of importance with me that will help me with taming but once I craft the uh, billboard, the wooden billboard panels uh, that should be me ready with a trap uh, I can then get the rare flowers from HLNA, uh, try and cut everything. I do have a good weapon to defend myself and clear the area because I will be aggroing absolutely everything. I'm a bit heavy, so let's get rid of some stuff. And what else? Do I oh, did not mean to do that. Okay, we just need some more hide. I'll go and grab that and I'll see you folks in a bit. All right, here is my target. This is a maximum... Level 120, yay. I was hoping to find a 150, but server settings and all that. So I'm going to place down my trap. Where's the Maywing? Huh? Oh, for God's sakes. All right, well, might as well pick these up. <laughs> oh, hello. That was a good close-up. Right, let's try this again. And we place down set piece like that. And second piece like so. Try and be a bit more specific. My wings just walk past it. Darn it. Okay, there's a galley there. I did clear this area before, but this galley found its way here. So, seeing as we don't want any trouble with you, we're going to try and get rid of you. Now, if you run away, that's fine. I don't really want to use ammo on you. Goodbye. Oh, 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 you're mine. You're mine. You're mine. You're mine. Please don't move. Please stay there. Good, 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 good. Oh. Well, there we have it. Wow. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much for that, Mr. Maywing. Oop, I totally missed that because of your tail. <laughs> now, I'm praying that the space between the... Yep, that worked. Oh, lag. Um, 
Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm praying that it cannot get out right now. Oh, your tail is such an annoying thing. <laughs> but I do have a man. Now, of course, this won't be a high level because I will fill around with the settings. But I have a May wing. I have a mount to... Oh, it's down. All right, let's put some stuff in it for now. This is just temporary until I get some good stuff in there for you. So I'm going to go and find some meat. I think that should keep you busy for, this, for the time. Uh... Like I said, I'm going to lose levels on this, not really that bothered, but it is the first time, so, you know, things like this are acceptable. And look what I found right here. This is our sheep, right? Try and get you. I probably overkilled it, but hey-ho. And this is what we were looking for. I mean, I was farming the Brontos and stuff and Diplos around here for the prime meat. wasn't getting all that much. And then, of course, we got a little sheep right here. So that's going to help. Uh, the main wing is, of course, omnivorous. So it will eat just about anything. Uh, berries are the worst. So really, you want the raw mutton or the cooked mutton, uh, the cooked lamb chop or prime meat really to tame it. You're still not going to get good taming effectiveness. It's uh, kibble that it wants. But I don't have any kibble, so we make do with what we have. Right. I have removed the trap, there's no point in keeping it, and I don't really have that much narcotics, so I've been using berries, being stingy here. And let's put all that right there because of the spoil timer, so we want to try and save up so much, as much of this uh, raw mutton as possible. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place down a campfire and start cooking some of the mutton off. Um, it's going to spoil by the time this creature tames. So if I cook it, that should increase the spoil timer on them because the cooked stuff lasts for longer. So let me go and find some resources here. Um, I need stone and thatch. No, stone and flint. Jeez. Right, let's go and get that. There's a rock right there. We got flint. We got stone. I think I have some wood in my inventory or whatever else I need. I'm not sure if it's wood or thatch for it, but that should do. My mare wings there. And uh, this is quite a nice area, actually, to be fairly honest. Not a lot of bad creatures to worry about, so it does make the process of taming this quite quickly and fun and easy. Nothing to worry about. That's, there we go. The S plus campfire. I'll take that. And go into my inventory, put this on my hot bar, and we place it down like so. So I think I've... Oh, that was a very... Oh, right. I need to do something about that. I very nearly clicked on the key, pressed on the key with the rare flower, which would have been disastrous. No, no. We don't want that. So I'll take some of these. I'm not sure. I can't remember how much space there is in the campfire, but that's fine. I'll put whatever I can't fit in there back. So we put some wood in. Light it up. And... Start cooking. And this will take a while, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. Uh, probably, hopefully, closer to when this thing's tamed. And so I've decided to do a little something different. This has taken a while. I did have quite a few resources back at base. I'm not far from base, actually, where this May Wing is. So I'm going to craft one of these bad boys. Uh, it's actually taken me over half an hour, and we're not really getting there very far. As you can see, this is as, as far as I got. So we're going to cheese it with this. And this is why I have the Taming XL on the server. That should move things along nicely. And... I mean, it's not given a lot of Taming effectiveness. So another thing that I need to look at in the settings. So even with the Tame XL, it still took quite a while. But we do have our May Wing. So that's, that's a positive. My base is not far from here. So it's time to give you a name. I'm going to try and call you number one, because you're the first one. Ah, oh, misspelled it. Balls. Yeah, okay, fine. We'll call you number one, because I completely misspelled it, and I'm too lazy to change your name out. So let's drop whatever I don't need. This is all the stuff that I've been harvesting during this time whilst I was here. So we'll do that and that and give you some of that, give you some of that. I'm going to give you all the perishables, because they last longer in your inventory, buddy. And let's go and play with you. Uh, did not sound quite right, but you know what I mean. Um, 
Right, we want to remove that because it's annoying. There we go, number one. I'm going to change that name out later on. Definitely can't have you called like that. Or maybe just leave it. Who knows? But I have my first tame, and it is a Maywing. These things are not that difficult to tame, and I think this guy wanted to be tamed because he just walked himself into my trap without me needing to do anything. All right, so here we are back at base. Time to place a couple of more things down. Uh, I want to craft a fabricator, and that should get us on our merry way. I do want the S plus fabby, so that'll help. Uh, it's a lot quieter compared to the normal one, so that's my reason for choosing the S plus one. Oh. Well, ideally it would help if I pick it out of there before I want to place it down. So let's see if I can squeeze it here on these foundations. Like so. Sweet. And that'll leave just fine. I can probably put a lot of stuff in it now. Uh, the next thing I want is obviously a refrigerator and some stuff. Uh, I'm probably going to do this off camera now because I think... 20 minutes is good enough, so I want to get my hands on a refrigerator and some other things to keep my things cool. I'm about to log off, basically, and before I do that, this is one of the things that I want to set down. Electronics, we need... Okay. I think I have enough materials around here, maybe? Yeah, there we go. We've got that. Take all this and move it into the fabby right here. Like so. And... Where did I put... Oh, there we go. No. Do I not have it? Yes, I do. I thought I did. So let's create that refrigerator so I can keep all of the wonderful bits of meat that I've gathered safe and uh, restored. Okay, hold on a bit. Uh, one second. Let's have a look over here. We might need some more of this metal. Do you know what? If I place down a refrigerator, I will also need a source of power. So, I'm going to place this down. And I'm running out of space here, but there we go. We put some element there. Power this bad boy up. We maximize the radius. And next up, we want... To power this up. So obviously we need some energy. There we go. Perfect. And we craft some of these. Once we have crafted enough of these. We then get the fridge out. And then place down the fridge. Take out everything out of the. Uh, preserving box. Preserving bin. And then. That should last a lot longer. We need some more of this right there. Ooh I'm heavy. What else do I need? I'll grab that as well. Actually, no. Cementing paste, polymer. Perfect. Let's place all of this right there. Now let's have a look at the refrigerator. Oh, I want the S Plus version. There we go. And that should craft quite quickly, quite soonish. Come on. Oh, the, the waiting. I can't wait. <laughs> so we've got foundations right here. This is what it'll take to craft the foundations. Okay. I'm having the load. Now, the idea is I'm not going to build my base with S plus building pieces. Last time I did that and uh, there was a bug that all the S plus building pieces disappeared. So not doing that again. Uh, the base will be mainly crafted out of the standard stuff. So I'm having a look at what they require because I can't remember. Just so I have an idea of what I need to gather when I do get to that point. And I think they're crafted in here. Yes, they are. That's good. Okay. How are you doing? Ooh, there's my refrigerator. And I'll start crafting some foundations. I'll do that. I'll just basically dump everything into the smithy. Uh, I'll let that craft in the background and uh, my refrigerator I shall place somewhere down. Do you know what? Um, I'm, I'll pick this one up because I do have a bunk bed and I'll place the refrigerator here. 
and move all the stuff over to the refrigerator. With that being said and done, I think I'm going to end the video here. I will see you folks in the next one, uh, where hopefully we'll find some more things to tame. But I am pretty set up right now. I'm happy with what I have achieved. And, um, yeah, the, the loot drops are insane. They have definitely made a massive difference in progression, to be fairly honest. So, with that said and done, until next time, stay safe, folks.